Welcome to the November 19th, 2010 edition of Inside Rensselaer, the video podcast that lets you know what's going on inside Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Let's start off with some student news. The 2010 Honors Convocation Ceremony was recently held, paying tribute to undergraduate and graduate student achievements. The Founders Award was given to 76 students and 199 members of the class of 2014 were recognized as Rensselaer medalists. Adam Beese, a PhD student in the Department of Electrical, Computer, and Systems Engineering, has been named a 2010 Global Foundries Global Research Collaboration Fellow. Beese is one of eight students in the country to receive the fellowship and the first Rensselaer student to do so in 10 years. And the Phalanx Honor Society is seeking nominations for membership into Phalanx for junior, seniors, and graduate students, the White Key Society for freshmen and sophomores, and Who's Who Among Students in American Universities and Colleges. In faculty and staff news, Rensselaer welcomes Lee Sheldon, the former Hollywood screenwriter and producer, as the new co-director of the Games and Simulation Arts and Sciences program. His credits include Star Trek, The Next Generation, Charlie's Angels, and Cagney and Lacey, and he's been in the video game industry since 1995. The White House has recognized Matthew Oschlager with the President's Early Career Award for Scientists and Engineers. The award is the highest honor bestowed by the U.S. government on science and engineering professionals in the early stages of their independent research careers. Oschlager's research was on the combustion chemistry of aviation fuels. After serving 10 years, Guo Ching Wang recently stepped down as head of the Department of Physics, Applied Physics, and Astronomy. Her accomplishments were numerous and touched many students, faculty, and staff members. She hopes to concentrate full-time on teaching and research. And the Office of Undergraduate Education has appointed Captain Jeff Hughes as Commanding Officer and Professor of Naval Science at Rensselaer. He will supervise the ethical, professional, and military development of Rensselaer NROTC students. In research news, Rensselaer is opening a new interdisciplinary center to develop advanced modeling simulation and imaging technology for healthcare and to transition those technologies to clinical practice. It will be known as the Center for Modeling, Simulation, and Imaging in Medicine. James Liu was recently recognized for his innovative research and technical achievements towards the design and realization of 3D integrated computer chips by earning the William D. Ashman Achievement Award from the International Microelectronics and Packaging Society. In alumni news, the Rensselaer Alumni Association formally recognized alumni contributions recently at Reunion and Homecoming Weekend. 20 alumni in two chapters were recognized for their volunteer efforts. And the first annual ROTC alumni reception was held during Reunion and Homecoming Weekend as well. The event gave current ROTC students the opportunity to listen to ROTC alumni experiences. And let's finish up with some campus news. Anxiety in contemporary art is the subject of Uncertain Spectator, an exhibition running through January 29th at MPAC. Craig Mundy, Chief Research and Strategy Officer at Microsoft, recently appeared on campus to talk about human-centric computing in the Kinect gaming system. And Rensselaer recently supported panels of new art to hang on the windows of historic Proctor's Theater. Each piece depicts the artist's interpretation of Troy's history. And that's it for this edition of Inside Rensselaer. Join us again in two weeks for another episode. For in-depth versions of these stories and more, visit rpi.edu slash about slash inside. Thanks for listening.